Hey there, this is Adrian from PyImageSearch.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Images to gather training data for your machine learning and deep learning models. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume you've already used the downloads section of this guide to download the source code and uh, JavaScript uh, scripts and Python scripts and example images. If you haven't, make sure you've gone ahead and used this form to get, grab the code. And there, from there, open up the, uh, the code in your favorite text editor. So the first thing you want to see is this JavaScript console, js underscore console.js. This is the file we're going to be pulling code from to actually download our Google image URLs. So let's go ahead and head to Google now. And then we're going to type in a query, in this case, Santa Claus, as we're building a not Santa detector in this series. And we're going to go to images. Now, once we're on this, uh, on this page, go to view, developer, JavaScript console, and if console isn't all automatically selected, go ahead and do that now. The next step is pretty simple. All you need to do is start scrolling and keep scrolling until the images are no longer relevant to the query. I'm just going to go ahead and stop here so we can continue on with the tutorial and uh, show you how to download images uh, from Google. So let's pop back to the text editor and you are going to want to just copy and paste these uh, line at a time. This one is creating a new script element on the page. This one is going to set the source of the script element to jQuery. And then we're going to add it to the actual uh, Google Images document. From there, this little snippet parses the DOM document object model and grabs the actual URLs. So now we have a list of URLs. And then uh, we're going to create a list separated by new line characters. Uh, create a hidden element, which is our link. And this is going to be a text document. And we're going to save it in a new window or download to our default downloads directory. And we're going to call this URLs.text. And finally, we'll simulate a click this way. And notice right here we have our new URLs file, which if I were to open up in my uh, text editor, it would look like look like this. All right, so I'm going to pop over to my terminal, and as you can see here, I've already downloaded the images and the source code for this blog post. And let's grab the usage for the download images script, and we'll see right here. Download images. We need to specify the URLs file as well as the output directory, and then we'll kick off this script, which will go ahead and download our images. Now this, this process could take a while depending on your internet speed and the speed of the actual servers that we're requesting images from. So I'm gonna let this script run and when it's all finished, I'll get right back to you. All right, welcome back. Our images have downloaded using our download images.py script and we can find these images in the images Santa subdirectory and you can see all the images listed here. But the problem is that not every image we downloaded may be relevant to the query Santa Claus. So we need to manually go through these images and prune the non-relevant images out. This is actually pretty easy. My favorite way to do this um, is on my Mac and I select the cover flow view of the image. That way I can just start scrolling through and look for images that may or may not be relevant. And if I were to come across one of them, I can easily download them. Say for this example, I'm not even seeing a preview, so I'm gonna com hit Command Enter and move it to trash and just keep scrolling through all these images and find things that aren't relevant, move them to your trash uh, so they're not accidentally included in your, uh, in your training data. So I hope that helps you out on um, getting started using Google Images for deep learning and machine learning for gathering additional training data. I'll be back next week where I'll be demonstrating how to build your own not Santa detector using deep learning. So stay tuned.